grilled pizza that you're not likely to find anywhere else. Providence's Federal Hill District is legendary for its rich Italian heritage and delicious eats. And in the early 1980s, the neighborhood gave birth to a one-of-a-kind culinary gem, the grilled pizza. Ever since, locals have flocked to Bob and Timmy's for grilled greatness by the slice. What is, in your opinion, the advantage of the grilled crust? I like the grilled crust a little better because uh, they do it in olive oil, but right on the grill, you just get that grill flavor. There's nothing that compares to it. There's a little saying that we do. What's the saying? My grandmother's very Italian, just like most of the people in Rhode Island. And when you pull the cheese, you have to say Udi, which means, oh God. Really? Yes. Udi. Uh, give us this day our daily grilled pizza. Amen. And while all of Bob and Timmy's grilled pies are amazing, from the red pepper layer chicken pizza to the fully loaded everything, I'm heading to the kitchen for a true Rhode Island classic, the spinach and mushroom pie. So this good gentleman is Jose Sanchez, and you are one of the owners here. The actual grilling of pizza, that's strict Rhode Island, right? Yes. You're not likely to find a pie like we're going to make anywhere else. The pie begins with nine ounces of homemade dough soaked in olive oil. In olive oil? Oh, olive oil, yes. Over the small stick on the grill. What's well, also going to be kind of incredible, all that flavor from the olive oil and the charcoal heat, it's going to give the crust flavor before we even add the very first topping. After two minutes over 500 degree coals, Jose flips the dough. Oh, wow. You can actually see where the grill touched it. It looks almost like grilled pizza bread. And it's time for the topping. Unlike oven baked pizzas, the toppings for a grilled pie are added right on the grill. Jose sprinkles on fresh garlic and coats the pie with thickly shredded Parmesan cheese. Wait a minute, now that's amazing. Usually you only see the mozzarella shredded like this. Yeah. Oh, that, that's Parmigiano. Next up, the veggies. A blanket of baby spinach and savory sauteed mushrooms. And you get your produce fresh every day. Every day. So it's not just a really kick-ass pizza, it's a real taste of Providence. Yeah. Jose crumbles on tangy feta cheese. Little feta, make it all better. A final dusting of ground Parmesan, and the spinach and mushroom pie is perfecto. One of my best friends lived up here for four years, and he never told me about this. And I am now beginning to question our friendship. <laughs> it's the craftsmanship. And with olive oil on a charcoal grill, it's smoky, it's nutty, it's absolutely phenomenal. Hey, what's up? It's Jesse Parmesan, Hot 106. I am Trey Miller, and we are at Bob and Timmy's Legendary Grilled Pizza in Providence for this edition of Pizza Tours. I'm ready to eat legendary, are you? I am ready. Let's, Let's go. Let's do it. And you said this is the one that was number five in the country. Yes. Wow. This is our spinach and mushroom with caramel feta. Tell us about this pizza and how it became number five in the country. Uh, this is our spinach and mushroom pizza. It starts out with a layer of shredded Parmesan. Uh, and then we add fresh baby spinach, sauteed uh, white button mushrooms, and then we add a crumbled feta and a uh, powdered Romano to the top. Uh, there was a study done by a well-known food critic named Alan Richmond. He tried over 300 pizzas, narrowed down his list to the top 25, and we were on the list as number five in America. Wow, wow. that's great. Now, the pizza crust is actually grilled. You don't bake the pizza? Uh, this pizza has nothing to do with a regular conventional oven. Right. We grill over an open charcoal flame all day long. So there's hot coals burning in our kitchen from 10 in the morning till 10 at night. That's great. All right, I'm ready to dig in. Me too. Let's do it. Cool. Uh, thank you very much. All right. It's a lot, a lot of fun. Pizza, 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 piz
This morning in today's kitchen, we're talking pizza. How is this for a grueling assignment? GQ Magazine's Alan Richmond had to travel across the country in search of the best pizza. He is here with some of the pies that made his list. Alan, I, I salute you. That was that must have been very difficult for you. 386 pizzas? <sighs> and you look you look terrific. Well, that's a lot of work <laughs> going to 109 pizzerias. Man, okay. Spinach and mushroom pizza from Bob and Tommy's, Tommy's in Providence. That's right. This is the this is the flatbread that's created grilled and Bob pizza. Bob and Timmy, I should say. I'm Bob sorry. and Timmy was now, by the way, Rick and Jose. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just so you know that. <laughs> but nevertheless, it's a it's a grilled pizza, and the grilled pizza is like it's like it's like it's like fried bread. Mm -hmm. What could you have better than that? Fried, fried bread. It's yeah, perfect. It's perfect. Now, this if you're looking for good pizza, you don't have to go very far. You can say that again. Rhode Island's capital city has been given an honor that you may not find all that shocking. According to Travel and Leisure magazine, Providence is the second best city in the country for pizza. It was beaten out only by one city famous for their pizza. That story's new at 11. Eyewitness News reporter Mara Kennedy has more for us from Federal Hill. So what makes Providence Pizza so good? We had to find out for ourselves, so I came to one of the best places for pizza in Providence, Federal Hill. Looking to find good pizza? In Providence, you don't have to go very far. Look to your left and right, and you'll probably spot at least one pizza shop. The best thing that you can ever have, because you got everything you need, all the nutrients, especially when they top it with like this chicken and this you know, the sauce. I like the grilled pizza because it's crispy and thin. Chicago was the only city to beat it. Local pizza shop owners will tell you Providence has a unique flavor. Providence has a lot of history and they've had different types and styles of pizza over the years. Customers chow down on Bob and Timmy's number one seller, spinach and mushroom pizza. The owners, neither Bob or Timmy, say it's one of the reasons they've been nationally recognized. We actually burn uh, probably hundreds of pounds of charcoal a week, um, so it really gets the flavor in the thin dough. Uh, it's a very thin crust, so it's not very doughy and cheesy like most pizzas. We all love the suggestions that we get on the I Love RI Facebook page about great local businesses, but when we heard about this local pizza place, well, we felt it was our job to check it out. Pizza in Rhode Island is serious business, and with so many choices, where do you go? Bob and Timmy's is an Italian-style restaurant that focuses primarily on making thin grilled pizzas. This pizza restaurant has years of tradition behind it. Uh, we've been in business for 21 years in Providence, and our restaurant here in North Smithfield has been open for a little over two and a half years now. Owners Rick and Jose bought the grilled pizza restaurant after working in the business. I started as a busboy in the spring of 2000 and just worked my way up the ranks until we bought the business five years ago. The funny thing is I never think of that first my dream is to cook it. But I never think of so many things that happened to me. The pizza is so good, the GQ magazine named Bob and Timmy's one of the top five best in the country. They've also made it to national TV and magazines. We've done things like appeared on Providence's Man vs. Food when they came to town. We were in September's issue of Every Day with Rachel Ray. Uh, we've been mentioned in Pizza Magazine in the same sentence as Mario Batali. The national attention comes with a price. Lots of hard work. We're usually here cooking six, sometimes seven days a week. Bob and Timmy's prides himself on making everything fresh, and the proof is in the cooking. We make our dough every day. We buy big wheels of cheese and grate them down to the consistency that works for our cooking style. We get produce every morning. That's really hands-on. With their dessert pizza and the signature spinach pizza, so got the garlic in here. it doesn't get any better than this. And the order's up. Very gratifying, and we're very gracious. Uh, we owe a lot to our staff. We owe a lot to the support of our families. Um, it's really a lot more work than people realize. Mention the name Bob and Timmy's, and the reaction is always the same. It you know, feels so good. It's why uh, a lot of people ask me is how how I feel. It's, I feel so good when people say, oh my God, this pizza's so good. And you know what I mean? So, oh, okay, I made it. <laughs> Bob and Timmy's has two locations, the original in Providence and a newer restaurant in North Smithfield. And they also have a menu to die for. I'm starving already. If you know of a local business that you think should be featured, head to our I Love RI Facebook page and tell us all about it.
There are so many different styles of pizza, thin crust, deep dish, Sicilian, but if you've never experienced the crispy, smoky sensation of biting into a grilled pizza, we know exactly where you should go. In a city like Providence, pizza is serious business. And on Federal Hill, the folks at Bob and Timmy's have perfected the art of grilled pizza for over two decades. But what makes grilled pizza so good? Grilled pizza, when you first bite into it, is definitely not what you expect. It's not a run-of-the-mill pizza like you normally hear pizza. With ours, you have a homemade dough. We don't cook over a gas grill. We use real charcoal, so the flavor of that is cooked into the pizza. Our texture is normally a little bit soft and a little bit crunchy at the same time. That's owner Rick Ramica. He and his partner Jose Sanchez started working at Bob and Timmy's 14 years ago. Then they bought the business back in 2007. And ever since, they've worked extra hard to make sure every last item on the menu stays exactly the way regulars remember it. The pizza is really defined by the consistency and the quality that we've come to adhere for our standard over the years. We buy big 18 pound wheels of cheese and we cut them and shred them to our own consistency. We're we're making dough fresh in-house every day. We make our own sauce. So really, we pay attention to every single detail. And because we've been doing it for so long, it's more like second nature to us, where this is how we do things. This is how we were raised to do things. We don't know any other way. Making this pie is painstaking, but each and every step is necessary. We soak it in olive oil so that it doesn't stick and burn to the grill. We cook one side of the dough that's facing the charcoal, and then when that's nice and brown and crispy, we can flip the whole pizza over, and that actually becomes the top side of your pizza. And while the bottom is cooking, we apply all of our fresh cheeses, our homemade sauce, and our ingredients to the top side. And then by the time the bottom's done, both sides are cooked and covered, and and the pizza's ready to go. The kitchen has been known to get a bit hectic because the grill itself can only hold three pizzas at a time, but Jose stays cool under pressure. Jose being the master that he is, he can do five, but that's not anything that anybody else in the kitchen will attempt. And whether he's cooking the acclaimed spinach and mushroom pie or the flavor-packed chicken Alfredo, he does it with pride. Jose is an amazing chef, but he takes it personally. Jose would rather you tell him that his clothes don't match or his hair looks funny than speak ill of his food. So nothing comes out of that kitchen that wouldn't meet his approval. He is as passionate about his food as you would hope somebody in this business would be. So the margaritas are always magnificent and the pepperoni pizzas are just perfect. But if you want a little bit of everything on your pizza, they do that too. Our everything involves a sweet Italian sauce sausage, fresh pepperoni, meatballs, mushrooms, onions, black olives, green peppers. We saute them all together so that it's not individual flavors, it's more of a new flavor created by all the toppings that have been blended together. So you get a little bit of everything in each individual bite of that pizza. Besides pizzas, Bob and Timmy's also specializes in Italian fare. So there's cheesy chicken parm, crispy calamari, and lobster scampi all cooked to order. The so-called Hill Special is so special, it's become a permanent fixture on the menu, featuring grilled chicken, sun-dried tomatoes, and wild mushrooms over ziti, smothered in a creamy, cheesy sauce. It's a take on an Alfredo sauce, but it's a smoked Gouda cream sauce. So it's a little heavier of a dish because it's cheesy and creamy, but it's some of the best stuff you've ever had. Certainly the staff here thinks this is some of the best food ever, and the customers seem to agree. And that's because Rick and Jose put their heart into every dish. That's really what separates us from a lot of places. Nothing that we make comes out of a can. We prefer to slice our own mushrooms. We make our own sauce from scratch. The dough has to be perfect every day and not bought in and brought in. This is the only way we know, but thankfully for us, it's the right way.